and we are starting. Hello everyone. Hello. Hiya. Hi, hi. <laughs> so we are here again uh, <laughs> with you, bringing you a story time. Um, it's actually the end of first day in a new destination. And as you probably guessed, we are in amazing Edinburgh, Scotland. Yeah, um, yeah so we had an incredible day actually. A uh, very interesting day, we have to say as well. So it's a, it's a, it's an interesting story. Um, so of course we had a morning flight. We arrived here, um, and then came straight away to our accommodation here, which is, um, uh, I mean, amazingly, <laughs> it's the best hotel in Edinburgh. It's Balmoral, um, and it's just incredible, um, amazing, amazing. Like the best location. Uh, incredible like this service is outstanding um, really five star really five star proper proper hotel um, the rooms are great um, so beautiful actually we got a upgrade like it was it was so amazing it was shocking like we just arrived there and they were like oh we just upgraded your room uh, just for you to know you got a deluxe room with a view on the castle which it's mad like the view is mad it's literally on the castle and in uh, on the monument here and um it's stunning like it's so so great so we are extremely happy uh, regarding that um and yeah and then we had guided tour so um we chose to do the guided tour of a city because this is the best way to get to know the city so i tend to do guided tours uh wherever i go like the first thing uh, because like that you get to know the city uh, you get great recommendation on what to do mm -hmm. next and where to go because you know they're locals the guides and they know the best and the guided tour was awesome isn't it yeah, it was very it's interesting really yeah um, on the way uh, yeah. to there um, uh, we were yeah walking around and um, we stopped <laughs> so <laughs> on the yeah on the street with the, yeah. there was a woman yeah. Um, she she was uh, she had a how is it stand tent. she has a she had a yeah. stand with a tarot yeah cards with the cards and, and witchcraft so stuff. basically witchcraft stuff and yeah. um, and like the Holy Spirit just you know used us we had to stop and um, it's on the video so you're gonna see everything yeah. um, so we basically had to stop and we uh, exposed so we rebuked openly um, and exposed the witchcraft um, told her that this is the witchcraft and that what she's doing is not yeah. right and then I told her um, a bit about my just quickly about my um, story not too much but I just said that I've been there I know what's behind and that you know the Christ is the only way and um, that they should basically turn to Christ and that otherwise um, it's of the devil isn't it and she's got a witchcraft spirit and it's just mm -hmm. not right what they're doing yeah and there was a guy as well oh yeah there. there was a guy with her so yeah i saw him first and mm -hmm. uh, i came closer um, yeah. because yeah i just saw that you know there is something yeah. wrong and yeah. um i said to him something about jesus yeah and later so when we left the place later we saw him again which so. is which is basically um, so, which is basically um, it's a monitoring. So because um, the powers that are operating in this city got alert by the light by the um, Holy Spirit, you know, they got alert, and especially when we so boldly went after them and openly, you know, um, proclaimed Christ, um, they kind of the powers are not happy. Um, so what happened is that we knew straight away that now they're monitoring us and this was basically an agent of darkness, isn't it? Yeah. Because it was just impossible. It was two hours guided tour and then suddenly he was completely on the other side, like it's quite far away from where the stand was. So far, uh, suddenly he was just there where yeah. we were and, and watching, like, yeah, telling, watch, yeah. yeah, yeah, I was telling her again like, Look, he's there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Looking at her. she was telling me like, I was yeah, like, it's, a, it's monitoring. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's normal because they got alert, the powers, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, and then we just boldly, um, we just boldly looked at him. And it was interesting because when we confronted her, 
um, you said you kind of started feeling a bit of fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a spirit of intimidation. It's what witchcraft mm. is trying to do. No, actually, when I started to pray, when I walked, yeah, it, yeah you will see on the video. Yeah. But when I started to walk around this stand, I started to pray, and yeah, I, I felt like um, fear, like mm -hmm. it's try, trying, 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 yeah, to get to me. Yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, yeah, I just you know I said to to myself like uh, no. You know, there is no fear in God. Exactly, and greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Exactly. And they should Amen. be fearing us, and they are fearing us. So guys, remember, uh, they are actually fearing us, and they get very, very alert when we yeah. get around. Um, so yeah, we should understand that. and Authority. Um, authority that we have <laughs> in Christ, exactly. Um, but like, it was, for me, it was an incredible experience, because like... What happened with you? What did you feel? I just felt um, at one point, yeah, I felt kind of some sort of attacks mm -hmm. at one point. Um, and then there was something like a pain started, like tried um, um, to uh, start in my stomach. And I kind of rebuked it straight away and I just uh, continued praying. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we prayed throughout so um, and just didn't allow it, isn't it? And that's not the only thing, it happened uh, more. Um, basically, this town is very um, spiritually influenced. Yeah. Very... Um, oh, it's, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> it's, it's a lot, it's strong, it's, it's super spiritually influenced. And mm -hmm. witchcraft is literally everywhere. Yeah. It's everywhere. And um, it's, it's incredible, they have that graveyard there, which is very popular and apparently it's a whole uh, ghost they are kind of having even a ghost tours mm -hmm. there at night and so on and then people like recorded to be coming back like with scratches with all sorts of stuff so basically spiritual attacks um, yeah. and um, yeah it's 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 quite um, it's quite interesting and then also the way she was say uh, the guide he was saying like how you know the the writer of Harry Potter like yeah, so you could you just yeah. kind of understood because of the city the way it is and then also he showed us like she literally was sitting close to the graveyard yeah. uh, there was a i think a coffee shop or something but it was like looking straight on the graveyard and that's where she was getting ideas basically and also some names are actually taken from that graveyard i had no clue about it i had no clue about it and that's like crazy yeah. so it's crazy how the devil used one person to influence a whole generation can you understand that yeah. and now I understand why she got that India because of where she grew up where she lived because this city is highly influenced by witchcraft like it's it's not a joke and yeah and then it just kind of makes sense and it's crazy you know what what the devil did isn't it using that one person and then like literally influencing the whole generation mm -hmm. um, and it's sad uh, unfortunately yeah. So, yeah. Then uh, happened this with the bus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> there is, story there is a literally... I was looking into it. I was even interested a bit. It's called the ghost tour. Uh, it's a bus ghost tour. Yeah. And it's on the bus. Uh, you go around like at 7 p.m., like in the evening. And on the bus, and then you kind of... They show you attractions. Yeah. So, they show you attractions and... Um, um, they are kind of comedians, so it's more, it should be a joke, yeah, so it should be funny, it should be entertaining, they're all professional um, uh, comedians or actors, you know, um, so I was like, I was really thinking, I was like, oh, maybe that would be actually, you know, interesting, I was like, oh, no, we're not gonna do those tours that are literally walking around the graves and, you know, yeah. doing all of this weird stuff, I was like, I don't want to do that, um, there is no way, <laughs> so, um, and then I thought, oh, maybe this, you know, it would be cool because if it's a comedy, you know, that should be actually fun. You know, maybe we're going to, you know, enjoy it actually and uh, have a, an interesting um, experience. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, so oh, when we walked around, um, mm. this bus just started to like... Appearing. Show, yeah, appearing all the time. Yeah, all the time. And I was just telling to Aldiana this bus is following us <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. Well, she was literally like oh this bus is following us yeah. and i didn't take it too seriously i was like oh whatever you know i was like oh maybe you know we should go like that's why i said 
but then God opened our eyes, so he literally stopped like so right you next to first, us. You read, yeah. you read from the bus what was written. Yeah, I, yeah, and then I read from the bus, and it was um, it was something like "Welcome to the dark side." Yeah, and then I turned back, and I saw six 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 literally six 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 on the bus. Yeah, literally. Literally, that's what he was saying. Welcome yeah. to the dark side, and then six, 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 and yeah. we were like, "Oh God, you know, thank yeah. you, Jesus!" Like literally, you yeah. just opened it, like so, yeah, so, so clearly. Um, yeah, it was it was pretty shocking. So we were just like, "Okay, imagine, you know, people think it's innocent. You know, you think, oh wow, this is innocent. It's a tour. It's an attraction. It's a really popular activity. Yeah. Um, let's have fun, you know, while we are traveling and so on and so on." But you don't understand that literally you are paying for that service yeah. and it literally says welcome to the dark side and there is a 666 and you're paying for that service and I believe once you enter that bus mm. you gave a right isn't it it's it's a legal right and now while you go you know on the tour and you're enjoying the activity experience mm. you might be opening some doors that you don't want them to be open isn't it mm. so yeah it was it was pretty shocking like we were just like mm. wow okay okay god like he literally was exposing so many things and it's only mm. day one like we just arrived and these days been packed like we've been here for three days already and then also interesting um when we walked first we saw proverbs 31 Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we saw Proverbs 31, so um, very, very uh, amazing. You know, like, God, yeah. So, Whatever you are doing. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we saw that. And then after we saw uh, Ezra, so the book of Ezra. So we are just planning to go through, read through, and then have a. We need to pray today. So tonight we really need to pray uh, a lot, and that's yeah. what we are planning to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> and then, okay, let's leave all of that spiritual side. <laughs> um, we had another interesting experience. I mean, it was kind of tough experience, I would yeah. say. <laughs> Basically, I booked, um, it's called the Spirit of Scotland. And it's like, uh, it's supposed to be an entertaining event, like a show night, entertaining show night. And um, I really expected a lot because I paid a good money as well. So I paid 170 pounds for two of us. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, wow, that should be so amazing. You know, it's perfect for our first day, night, like first day here in Edinburgh, you know, to see the culture, to enjoy the dances, the music. Um, it was with a four course meal and, you know, all of that. But, oh God, like we couldn't be further off, <laughs> you know, our expectations. <laughs> oh my days. So we got there and we were like, first we were so excited because it was in a really beautiful building, some college, uh, really pretty. And we were like, oh wow, look, it already looks like very posh, very amazing. This is like, oh, that must be luxury, something really great show, you know. Oh God. So basically we got there and uh, first like, okay, we had to find our way to to the hall basically and then once we arrived we were like oh yeah we you know we booked um this event and we looked around and there was literally no table for us like nothing it was fully booked and we were like okay this is super weird so i asked i was like um you know we we booked it mm -hmm. and then they were like oh just wait here we're gonna sort it out and then we waited for 10 to 15 minutes, like seriously, I just couldn't believe it. And they were like, okay, then we, they pushed like two people like from their place. Yeah. Like they moved them, they put them more together and then they put two chairs there. <laughs> and we just looked at it and we were like, okay, interesting. But I was kind of, okay, let's just leave it. You know, maybe they just messed up a bit with tables, with numbers. And then we finally, okay, let's, let's sit down. But we were waiting. Yeah, we were waiting for yeah. a long time. We were literally standing there in front of everyone while other people were eating, like literally, and just be like, oh, what's happening? Like, you know, um, and then finally when we were seated, then we waited to, you know, um, to give uh, the order. So for somebody to come so we can order, we waited for that as well. And finally the lady came and she was like, okay, what would you like? And we ordered. 
And I said, you know, for myself, I asked for the glass of wine. Literally, the lady was like, take a bottle and just, you know, pour it, pour it in for yourself. And I was just like, are you serious? Like, I paid 170 pounds to be pouring my own wine, like to be literally. And it was, it's not just that, okay, I wouldn't mind if the bottle would be in front of me, you know don't take me wrong yeah so if the bottle would be in front of me i would be like okay let me take it and that's it but no the bottle was like completely somewhere else i took the first one it was already empty <laughs> oh my god and then i went to the other one and it was so weird because there were people sitting there and i was like oh guys can i take this you know bottle from you it was, it was super crazy like i was like oh this is so weird and then when i took it the lady from there came back and she was like, oh, uh, do you mind if I take it back? <laughs> literally, <laughs> I was literally like, oh, no, no, no. Um, yeah, so super, super crazy. And then we were still kind of, I was already super disappointed. But then we were still kind of, okay, you know, let's, let's try. Like, let's try to enjoy this night. Let's try to make it better. Oh, gosh, when we got the food. So yeah, for some uh, starter. The, the starter, some, some, something <laughs> with salmon, salmon. Not good. Okay? Yeah. And we were like, okay, starter. Starters are sometimes not really nice, let's say. And then um, we got the main main one. Oh my gosh. It was we a still fish. have picture. Oh, we have a picture. Sure oh my gonna... days. Like, seriously. I Oh gosh. Oh my. Yeah. Um, Towards the camera, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Like, but, oh but yeah, this gosh. was like potato with and then some yeah, fish. fish and well, I tried and, a bit. Yeah. I tried the <laughs> fish and I tried the sauce and literally the sauce was a melted butter. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. So at that point, me personally, I had enough. I, I sincerely had enough. And then they tried to do like some kind of dancing, singing. Okay, that was not too bad. That was actually interesting. But then it was weird because there was a, there were a long gaps in between. But because like it was not a proper atmosphere at all. Mm -hmm. And probably we were not the only one who were disappointed. And it was just not, it was not nice. So even when they were coming up to actually entertain us, it was not really an entertainment, if you mm -hmm. know what I mean. So at that point we had enough, um, we stood up, I filled everything, but I did the right thing because already when the things were bad, straight uh, at the beginning, I started sending emails to the person mm -hmm. and the boss is somewhere in Ireland basically. And I started sending emails and pictures and videos with everything basically. Um, and yeah, and then I just stood up, I went, we went and I, was, and I asked for the manager, so uh, the lady took me to... Um, oh yeah, the, the lady who asked me to, to, you know, pour my own wine, basically, she, she was a supervisor, imagine, supervisor, and she was like, I'm a supervisor, would you like to speak with me? And I was like, no, uh, thank you, I want to speak with the manager. So she took me to um, a manager, but it was a manager for catering. So, I mean, he was not very helpful, but we, he ended up telling us about stories, how bad it is, and that he's barely coping there and all of that stuff and how he understands us and all of that and and that it happens so often and it's so bad it's unbelievable and i was just i i just thought to myself i was like how can this go on like this like how can this even exist like wh why are people not really properly standing up and complaining but it's because the, mostly are all foreigners isn't it they all come here from holidays maybe a couple of days and then they travel away and um, anyway, it was like unbelievable. Yeah, I basically uh, um, a lot of people came. So first that, and then the lady came. Apparently, the boss saw the email, so he sent that lady who was a dancer actually. Yeah. Uh, so she came down, and then she was apologizing and um, uh, talking about it, and you know, and then uh, the the guy the uh, who was a performer as well, but he's apparently the main one. Is his show. So the main guy then came as well, um, and he was a performer, so came down after the performance and then he was apologizing for everything and so on. So basically we managed like uh, to, you know, let them know that uh, it's not right what they're doing and it's, it's completely unacceptable and horrible. 
and uh, basically ask for the refund, of course, because that's no way. Basically, yeah, and we were super like disappointed. It was it was quite um, it was not good. Like it it makes your evening like in the first day here because we are very excited. It makes it like not you know the best. So uh, eventually, then we came back to hotel, yeah. and we asked the concierge. We were like you know we really want to eat somewhere. Like we are hungry, and then um, yeah, and then he already said that. Um, the restaurant is gonna close yeah at 9 30 and we were there at 9 yeah. isn't it so in and half an hour yeah and then he just like really tried to make us happy like to yeah <laughs> to have food here um and yeah we we went there yeah. and it was on the end like they really treat us really nice yeah it was, a, it was really so good yeah it was great experience really so nice. they went to ask and they they said yeah, yeah let them come you know yeah. even if it's late already yeah. and they served us so well like the the waiter was amazing yeah. uh, that person so funny as well <laughs> very very nice person and then everybody everybody was great uh, mm -hmm. the chef the, the everyone and um, yeah they they treated us so well we ordered good steak <laughs> both of us <laughs> I was like after such a day like after such a failed event I need a good steak you know <laughs> <laughs> to make myself happy again <laughs> um, so yeah I had a uh, we had a really great steak and then a uh, great dessert I mean my creme brulee was a huge one like so unusual <laughs> I was like oh yeah. wow I've never seen such a big one um, so we had a yeah, yeah we had a great time yeah it was it was excellent and um, yeah and um, that was it we yeah. had a great evening so it turned out well eventually uh, but it was, uh, as you can see, it was a day so packed. Oh God, we are talking Melly already for 23 minutes. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so the day it was, was long day. <laughs> yeah, it was a long day. Uh, it was so packed, and it's only like one day. Like it's incredible. Like I, I, I can't. What's like gonna happen wow. tomorrow? <laughs> God, you are doing so many things. Yeah. So many things. Yeah, yeah. But you know, guys, this is the point. You know, we need to be obedient. Um, this trip was very unexpected, same as Madeira. Yes. Yeah, tell about that. Okay. That was super, like, um, booked, like, three days before departure. Yes, yeah, so, um, yeah, I was, like, at work, and uh, I was just looking um, mm. nice places where we should travel. Mm. Um, and, yeah, I was sitting, um, uh, like, um, on the computer, and I just, like, wrote um, the most beautiful places in UK, yeah. and it just came out uh, Scotland yeah, all the time. And I was just telling to my uh, worker, yeah. um, I really want to go there. Ah. It's so beautiful. Yeah. And um, yeah, then testimony, yeah. <laughs> blessing, <laughs> money, <laughs> testimony. <laughs> no, no, go go. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Um, yeah. So um, next, it was. Sunday then I think or Monday mm -hmm. so my friend it was Monday I think yeah Monday yeah, yeah, yeah I was, I was working yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was at home and mm -hmm. so she texted me about she was asking me about some hairdressing stuff um, yeah I'm hairdresser yeah. <laughs> um, so um, yeah but we we don't really talk with each other all the time mm -hmm. so she just um, like texts me sometimes yeah. and we, we talk like that. Because you used to work yeah, together yeah. so that's where they know each other. Yeah, um, yeah. so yeah on the end it uh, happened that she just invited me like <laughs> because her sister she also works um, in the uh, like um, facial, facial, like uh, facial, spa, yeah, all yeah. spa, facial. But she actually works for this uh, hotel. Yeah, I mean, not the uh, the company, the, yeah. the brand, basically. Yeah. In London. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, how she also got through work. Yeah. That yeah, she can come here. Yeah, she's got there. So and I asked her like, so how much you know <laughs> we we need to pay, and she just said like, uh, you don't need to worry. Because yeah, but she said for yeah, you, for you, me, just because for me. the room it's actually for three people. For three people so yeah. there is one extra bed. Yeah. Um, and then and then I ask her, is it possible for my sister to come as well? Because um, she like we are doing a blog. A blog, yeah. Yeah. And um, she said, yeah, we can try, but yeah. 
I cannot promise you. Yeah. And then she also said, I asked them already if we add another person, yeah. then we need to pay like I would need 100. to pay something, yeah, for yeah, the 100. extra bed. Um, yes. And then you called me and she's yeah. like, I'm working. And she's <laughs> like, Aldiana. And I'm like, what? Do you want to go to Edinburgh? And I was like, what? I was like, are, are you for real? Like, uh, what, what? Where did this came from? Like, you know, we just almost came. We just came back from Madeira, and I was like, yeah. what is this? Like, it's not even a month, and we are like traveling again. <laughs> so I was like, um, I'm not sure because I don't have many, you know, holidays left. I kind of already pre-booked and everything. And I was like, oh, okay. But I was like, let me try, you know. And then she was like, I was not that happy with the idea of sharing, if I'm sincere, because. I didn't want to be like, okay, three people, okay, but now four of us in a in a room, I was like, I, yeah. I wouldn't be completely comfortable if I'm sincere. But I told her, let me check, you know, if I can, um, you know, get something. Um, and actually it ended up a blessing, 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 <laughs> blessing, blessing, blessing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, well, basically that ended up, I got a room, <laughs> I've got a room. Um, thank you jesus thank okay. you god so um yeah so that was it and we got the room here and then it turned out that because we are staying uh one night more than our friends yeah um so we kind of just uh decided i was like oh let me try uh, another hotel as well and basically i got the another hotel like another super super amazing hotel here as well um, so the Waldorf Astoria, um, yeah. so I've got the Astoria as well. Um, this yeah. one is even more yeah, expensive. For there are, the there, 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 there. Um, okay. So yeah, I, and I got that one as well, so this is coming. Mm, you're gonna enjoy it. So the, the last night we are actually staying in Astoria. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just incredible. So I was like, okay, we're going. And that's how we ended up here, basically. Um, so yeah. Anything else? Are we ready to pray? Yeah, we have. To, yeah, we have to. Yeah, we okay. well, let's pray and uh, yeah. and then take some. Uh, we are pretty tired as well. We didn't sleep yeah, much, is yeah, it? We have. To we had tomorrow. a lot to pack and uh, just didn't have time to sleep yeah. <laughs> basically yeah. uh, because the, it was a morning flight, so we had to get to Stansted and. Um, yeah. Um, here and then everything and then it was of course as you can see packed with activities um, so yeah we're gonna do that so yeah so guys be encouraged um, we really wanted you to see what God is doing that he's always working and also mm. like for our friend I mean for my friend and oh the sister. yeah the, the so they are the, the twins, twins. Yeah. yeah and yeah I really I already knew because how this happened that she invited me and really uh, felt that God wants to work in their lives. Yes. Um, oh, and so they had something to see today. Yes, oh, yes. they they properly saw it, like yeah. literally, because everything that was going on with us, they were present. Yeah. And they had some understanding as well, and they just looked at us. Yeah. What well, what's happening? What happening? Because it was just eyes opening, eyes opening, eyes opening, yeah. and then they were asking questions, and I was just telling them this and that and that, and can you see this? You know, just opening their eyes, and they started to see, isn't yeah. it? Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, I still we still need to tell uh, them. Uh, I started telling them a bit of my testimony, uh, but we still planning to do that tomorrow. So we're gonna literally tell them everything, and we'll see what God leads. Maybe pray for them and so on. But yeah, yeah. So that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, guys. So as we said, be encouraged. God is really working, and we should be bold. We should stand for the truth. And um, as they are so bold in standing for the devil exactly. and uh, spreading his influence, let's say, and be and, uh, bewitching mm. people and destroying people, uh, we should be bold as well and stand for Christ and literally yeah. expose the darkness and step directly into the warfare. And literally show them that the spirit of God is much that the one in us is much stronger than the one in them, yeah. and you know stand for the light and this, this share the light, expose the darkness. Like we really need to. And once you are obedient, God really starts to use you, yeah. starts to use you because like now even Madeira for us was not. Uh, it was amazing. He blessed us as well, but yeah. we had like he had a plans for us, um, and it's amazing. And also he like now it's it's a we can see it's a purpose behind and it's yeah. it's a it's a plan of God for us to be here. Yeah. 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 
Amazing. Yeah. Okay, so we are we are going, and uh, we'll See be back. You See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>